Guys, um, this morning we'd like to look at something under Mr. Coco's Nurses Plus and you're welcome. Thank you for the support and uh, thank you for watching. So today I want to do a procedure which is very simple, mostly done in foundation, which is uh, taking patient's weight. Just wear the patient, that's what I want to do today. So I'm with um, a group of uh, students from Creso University. They've come to visit at Lugushi um, College of Nursing. Okay, so they'll be with me here as I demonstrate the procedure. Okay, so to start with, we're going to take weight of a patient. You need to look at certain things. Why are you taking this weight or why are you weighing the patient? So you weigh the patient because you are admitting the patient. That's the first thing during admission. Secondly, you want to weigh the patient because of drug administration purposes. Thirdly, you want to weigh the patient, maybe you want to administer fluids. Then you would want also to weigh the patient when you want to do daily weight. There are those patients who require to be weighed daily. For example, they have ascites, so you want to see their prognosis. So you'd like to be weighing them daily. So those are the, some of the indications. And you can add many more. So there are a lot of reasons why you wear a patient. So it's very simple. What you need to do is just to have um, a weighing scale there. A weighing scale. And then apart from that, you need to have your paper for documentation. Then you also need to have another plain paper where the patient will step. Because most of the patients come in with shoes. So you can't manage to tell them to take off shoes. But if they can't take off their shoes, it's even better. But then you can, you know, just put a plain paper. Then you also need um, hand sanitizer for you to at least sanitize your hands. So how you start the usual, you need to get hand sanitizer. Okay. Then you go to the patient. Good morning, Bridget. Okay, I'm student number two from Kalushi College of Nursing, so I've introduced myself. And um, is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Okay, nothing. So I'd like to weigh you because uh, it's been requested that we weigh you daily. Is that okay with you? Okay, so you can just uh, come right here. Okay, so this scale is uh, digital. So since it's a digital scale, so it will be on as soon as uh, the patient steps on it, okay? So you can step on it. So, okay. So, um, it's giving us a weight in uh, cages, but you know, just uh, let's see how, our posture. At least this is how you're supposed to stand. The patient should not be fidgeting or looking down or sideways. So she's supposed to stand like that, so that you get uh, correct uh, weight, okay? So if there are any heavy clothing the patient is having, so a jacket which is heavy, the patient can remove that jacket. If, for example, they are having maybe a bag, you should be able to remove the bag. Okay, so any heavy stuff the patient is having, they can be able to remove. So at this moment, you can uh, move out of the store and then get back. Get back on the store. Okay, so as you can see, she's weighing 53.9 kgs, so that's the weight. So you can even document 53.9 kgs. So uh, thank you very much, Bridget, for allowing me to do this procedure. Okay? okay. Yeah, good. Then after that, you can document. Then documentation, uh, sometimes you find that you're putting it maybe in the patient's folder. So you are required to put up the date and time you're doing it. So if it's 10 hours you're doing it, you have to indicate 10 hours. This one you're taking that weight. And the date. So if it's 16th of... Uh, um, October, you have to indicate 16th of October. So that's how it should be. So it's a simple procedure, but very helpful because you're trying to give uh, drugs, to, to give fluids, you're trying to weigh the patient during admission, and perhaps you're trying to weigh the patient as you are uh, doing it daily to see the prognosis. So that's why weigh weighing the patient is uh, very, very important. So keep watching and keep supporting Mr. Coconut's class. Thank you very much.